Now that we have created a streamline map, we can create a connectome that represents the number of streamlines connecting different parts of the brain. And in order to do that, we have to first parcelate the brain into different regions or nodes. One way to do this is by using an atlas, which assigns each voxel in the brain to a specific node. You can use any atlas you want, but for this tutorial, we will be using the atlases that come with FreeSurfer. Accordingly, our first step will be to run the subject's anatomical image through Recon All, which you can read more about in the link down below. Before getting started, make sure you are in the DWI directory and type the following, subjects underscore dir equals in backticks pwd. This will place the output of Recon All in the DWI directory. Then type this Recon All command, which you can read more about in the link below. It will call the output of this subcona one recon and apply all of the Recon All steps. This will take at least a few hours depending on the speed of your computer. When it has finished, make sure to check the output by using the QA procedures described in the link below. We won't be covering those steps in the current video. When Recon All has finished, we will need to convert the labels of the FreeSurfer parcellation to a format that MRTrix understands. The command label convert will use the parcellation and segmentation output of FreeSurfer to create a new parcellated file in .mif format. This command uses the APARC plus ASEG output from FreeSurfer, which contains both the cortical parcellations and subcortical segmentations. The command then uses the FreeSurfer lookup table for the default Desikin Kilyani Alice and converts it to a new table, which can be read by MRTrix. And we then label the output sub cano 2 parcelsmif This will only take a few moments to run. We then need to create a whole brain connectome representing the streamlines between each pair of parcellations in the atlas. In this case, it will be 84 by 84 nodes. The symmetric option will make the lower diagonal the same as the upper diagonal. And the scale inv node vol option will scale the connectome by the inverse of the size of each node. The TCK weights in will weight each connectivity pair by the output from SIFT. And the input will be the raw 10 million tracts that we created earlier. The parcels file that we just created will be converted to a .csv file that we can read into MATLAB. And out assignment creates a file that can be used for the inverse operation of converting a connectome to a track if you want. Creating the connectome will take a couple of minutes, so I'm going to fade out here and come back once it's done. Once you have created the parcels.csv file, you can view it as a matrix in MATLAB. First, you will need to open up MATLAB and then import this file using the import data command. You will need to view it as a scaled image so that higher structural connectivity pairs are brighter. To heighten the contrast, you can change the scaling of the color map with a vector. In this case, zero is the least bright and one is the most bright. Keep in mind that the resulting correlation matrix is symmetrical. The upper triangle is identical to the lower triangle. The most noticeable feature is a division of the figure into two distinct boxes, representing increased structural connectivity within each hemisphere. You will also observe some clusters of brighter voxels, representing higher structural connectivity between nearby nodes. If you open up a terminal and type the following to open up the lookup table, here I'm using the VI editor, you will notice that the nodes are grouped into distinct areas. The subcortical structures of the left hemisphere, for example, if we scroll down in this table, are nodes 36 through 42, which you can see represented here, and the same for the right subcortical structures, which you can see over here. 
brighter voxels far away from the diagonal can sometimes represent increased structural connectivity between homologous regions. If you look up the numbers for the rows and columns for this voxel here, for example, you will find that it corresponds to the correlation between nodes 24 and 73, which are the left and right precuneus. Now that we've processed the data and created a connectome for a single subject, we will learn how to script the analysis for all of the subjects. All that and more coming up in the next video.